Now, recently I've been exploring lots of Gary's mod maps on the channel. And there's something I've noticed that I want to talk about. Every time I'm exploring one of these maps, there's just this slight feeling of creepiness. A subtle, unsettling feel. And sometimes that uneasy feeling has gotten so extreme that I've ended up jump scaring myself. Oh. Whoa. oh my god, I pulled out my magazine and that scared me. Even when there wasn't a jump scare. Oh. But why? Why does Gary's mod feel so creepy? Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Another video inside of Gary's mod. So today I just want to sort of talk about this weird creepy and comfy feeling that is often present in in Gary's mod maps as I'm exploring through them on the channel. Now I think there's a few factors which come together to create this unsettling feel. And I think perhaps the most important factor that I mean other YouTubers such as the librarian for example have also talked about before is nostalgia. Gary's mod is an incredibly old game released in 2006. A lot of us have nostalgia for the early days of this game and perhaps that is one of the main reasons why it can feel so creepy. Those distorted and feigning memories of childhood, of bygone days. So perhaps as you're exploring these familiar maps that you used to play many many years ago, your brain is sort of trying to fill in those gaps of memory with just feelings of being watched and something being present there. I think nostalgia is one of the main reasons why a really simple and totally normal map like RP Richland can feel so creepy. The librarian has made a video exploring that map specifically and he does talk about the nostalgia of him playing it a long while ago. And that's nostalgia value. Something which just can't be replicated. This was actually the very first map that I ever laid my eyes on. When I went over to my cousin's house sometime around 2008. Now for me personally, I never used to play Gary's Mod as a child. But I do have nostalgia for it because I remember this one video of Dan TDM, Where I specifically remember him playing Gary's Mod and just messing around with the items in the game. So years later when I found the librarian's channel and discovered this game again. Those memories just flooded back and now playing it. Seeing these old but familiar textures, it's a constant trip down memory lane, filled with nostalgia and I think textures is the second most important thing. Gary's mod graphic style is incredibly distinct, but also not unique to just Gary's mod. In fact, a lot of Source games have this interesting, unique graphic style. These weird high definition textures which just invoke such a weird weird feeling where you can sort of recognize the textures but something's off about them they're low quality while being high definition this is something i found in many source games games such as portal these textures and that mix of nostalgia when exploring such empty and massive maps can invoke a weird feeling of emptiness but without feeling alone i mean there have just been moments like these where for example on this map rp nyc this is an absolutely massive map. I think a sort of recreation of the entire New York City. There have been moments where I've just been standing in a spot like this and those creepy and comfy feelings have come back again. I mean, New York is a place I've never visited, but I'm really familiar with because and standing in a spot like this brings back those memories of why I'm familiar with this place. And that's because of playing video games and consuming media. Standing here looking at this view takes me back to the old Spider-Man movies set in New York City and also the The Amazing Spider-Man 2 game which I used to play back in the day on my PS4 It's that same nostalgia those classic memories that come back again while I'm standing here And giving it that sort of creepyish feeling And looking at all these textures as well where they sort of look high definition, but you can tell something's just It has that old style of graphics still But then, it's weird because even though there's that creepy feeling, there's no immediate danger. There's no actual, there's no actual horror elements or any jump scares going on here. And in fact, it's actually a super cozy spot. 
This is a nice little lovely apartment here. I'm standing on the balcony looking at an incredible view. But there's just that w weird mixture of those creepy feelings from nostalgia and the graphics of this game and that, but also that mixture of the comfy feeling that comes with just the actual game itself and what I'm doing in it. And those two feelings go very, very closely together. The feelings of creepy and comfy. Now, the feeling of creepy and comfy is a phenomenon that I've sort of been trying to explore repeatedly, not only in Gary's mod or Source games, but also other games in general. And it's a phenomenon that I've found to be sort of present in indie horror games as well. Games that I've explored on itch.io, and I've been blown away by some of the things I've seen in those indie horror games. Just those incredible feelings of standing in a restaurant or outside a wooden cabin in the snow where it looks very very comfy nothing feels wrong it's a nice sort of calm environment but then it's just that weird feeling of why can i not see anyone in the far far distance not a house not a single light and you just feel that sudden sense of loneliness and just an incredibly unnerving feel or perhaps a little moment I had when exploring an indie horror game called The Dog. Where the game sort of took place in this really cozy looking house. Nothing too strange and the game even sort of makes us do normal mundane everyday tasks. But then there's just that constant threat, that constant absurdity and weird feeling in the back of our head as we're playing. Of what happened in the beginning of the game. Where we had to sort of calm down this so called dog that we had trapped in our basement. It's just that looming danger in the back of your head and you're just worried that at any point things will begin to go wrong. Where, sure, something can feel really relaxing and normal for a moment, but it takes less than a moment for it to all go wrong. So to sort of summarize everything I've talked about in this video, basically this feeling of creepiness or this so-called creepy and comfy feeling is something that is perhaps just an effect of several factors, the most important of which are, in my opinion, nostalgia and the unique and distinct graphics of a game. One of my goals with this channel is to sort of try to explore this creepy and comfy feeling in video games as much as I can. And these factors, when present in a video game, can just be so so good for these kind of feelings. And Gary's Mod is a game that really has both of these factors really really well portrayed. Now this is a phenomenon that I've explored in other games as well, such as Minecraft. Minecraft is also a game that has that strong nostalgia factor, and also unique graphics, with this pixelated, blocky style. So that is going to be pretty much it for this video. If you all enjoyed then, inshallah I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.